Happy Sunday everybody and welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 blind playthrough. We're on episode 19 now I think um, and yeah I know we've got some missions to do in Saint Denis um, and maybe some more hunting um, and stuff to get our satchel sorted because um, I think the sooner we get that done the better um, because I think the earlier you get it done the more of the game it will benefit you for so let's get started. I probably have some chores to do as well. I didn't do any chores last week, can you believe it? I always do chores. I know I ended up doing like two or three lots of chores every session, um, but yeah, last session, just none. I think because to, straight away I just left camp and then when I came back, I'm surprised because it definitely been more than a day, but there just weren't any chores to do. But we did go to a fancy ball, which was nice. We went to the theatre with Mary, that was fun. So yeah, we were living the the high class life last time, and I feel like this might go back to normal now. We'll go we'll go back to being a cowboy <laughs> or an outlaw. Sorry, he's not a cowboy. The journal entry. Oh, I'm outside the gates again. What's in the old journal? Oh, actually, I didn't finish off the journal entries last time, so I might start with that. Excellent. Nice wolf. Oh, that was a bit phasey. Whoa, why is it doing that? Can you guys see that? His hand goes all blurry. Why? Why is that happening? It was kind of cool, but I don't know if that's supposed to happen. The mayor of Saint Denis. Hold on, let me... Um, I'm just going to go back and make sure I didn't miss anything. Whoa, Arthur, with your freaky hand. Get out of here. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Did we have alcohol? Did we eat some dodgy berries? What is this? Oh my gosh. It's making me woozy. Okay, the, the weird phasey hand hasn't stopped, but... This is where we left off, so I didn't read this because I realised it was going to be probably loads of entries about um, the Saint Denis characters that we met. There is, so I'm going to quickly read that and we'll all catch up on exactly what happened with our Saint Denis adventures. Met a crazy man in Saint Denis, a professor no less, Marco Dragic. I'm still amazed by what I experienced. He had me control a tiny boat, remotely. How? I have no idea. I did not understand any of it. But even though he was annoying and sh had a sharp mouth, he seemed obviously highly intelligent. Was I duped? I have no idea. Wouldn't be the first time I've fallen, f fallen for the rantings of an intelligent man telling me how to think. Only he didn't tell me how to think. The whole thing was odd. Told me to come and see him at his lab at Dover Hill. Maybe. We actually have already gone to see him, but he wasn't around. Oh, I love that monk guy. Met a monk, helped me free a couple of poor bastards from the islands someplace who were kept prisoner. The monk, what was his name? Brother something or other. He was a good fellow. One of these innocent people who make you feel better about human beings and even about yourself a little. Must be odd to see all that goodness in the world. Place always seems dark and brutal to me. Met a curious French man in a bar, bought him a drink, and he gave me a picture. Said he was an artist, although I'm not sure what is so good about it. Met a weird fella, wants a hundred gallons of moonshine. For love? Never heard such nonsense in all my life. And I know some talkers of nonsense. Guess I'll go and talk- guess I'll go and ask that clerk, Alden, Trelawney's disappointed friend. If maybe he knows some way of finding it, as I think there's money in this. Bird. Beautiful Saint Denis. I assume this is the streets of Saint Denis? There's three people, I can't tell where. 
I always heard Saint Denis was one of the seven wonders of the world. If this is so, I don't care much to see the other six. It's a depressing place that shows you the only thing worse than people is a whole lot of people. I have not ever met a lizard in a suit before. Only now I have, and his name is Angelo Bronte. He is either our salvation or our damnation. The city's strongman arrived from Italy a few years ago and knows now knows and controls everything and everyone. He had not harmed Jack other than feeding him strange food, and Dutch seems to think that we can go something we can get something from this oily dictator. Personally I don't trust him more than I trust an any hungry animal not to eat me. But for now we are somewhat safe and hidden. The whole place gives me the creeps. I want to leave Shady Bell though. Ooh. Mary wrote to me, wants to see me again. Oh Mary, what fools we are. What a fool I am. Took the shine to the fella in Saint Denis. A professor, no less. Andrew something or another. And was it Andrew Bell the third? Something like that. He's built an electric chair. He's built an electric chair as a kind way of killing folk as needs killing. Oh, the irony of it all. Even more ironic, me so tough and him so weak, and I never got paid. Saw Mary and the awful daddy, who was taken to drink, which unsurprisingly ain't improved him a whole lot. What a foul pig he is. Taken to hawking off family heirlooms and cursing the world for it. Still a stuck-up son of a bitch. Now Mr. Linton has passed away, I wonder what he wants for his daughter. Funny thing is, I love her, and yet I'm a bad lot. Old Daddy is a good, upright man, and yet he... Treats his daughter like a possession to be mistreated and abused as he sees fit. Strange creatures, men. I don't know. All I know is that I love her, and she both loves and detests me. It never worked before and it won't ever work now. Yet it gnaws at me, the idea of it gnaws at me like a sickness. I've got to give all that nonsense up. I'm an outlaw, a murderer, a man with a code different to ordinary folk. And Mary ain't never gonna be for my world. We went to a vaudeville show in town. Dancing from France, quite a business. What is wrong with me? Do I really think I can retire someplace nice and live a normal life with a wife? Am I a big enough dolt to believe that is possible? If I want to get paid for this nonsense, I got to find a bounty, name of William Wilson J. McDaniels, so he can be humanely disposed of at enormous cost to everybody, as opposed to shutting the head, like I would do. Still ain't been paid for this. That's back to Andrew Bell the Third. Oh, I was probably going to be a bunch of dead animals now because I went hunting. Oh, I'm such a good boy. The Mayor of Saint Denis Mansion. That was a fancy place. My lord, now I have done everything. I went to a ball like a fool in a fairy tale. The Mayor of Saint Denis. Dutch got us invited by Signor Bronte, and off we trooped. Trussed up like turkeys for Thanksgiving, and waxed and polished and primped to within an inch of our lives. Bronte did not mingle with the other guests, but lorded over the place like a Roman emperor deciding who to have killed for fun. The place was full of drunks, lunatics, liars and clowns. But the thing was kind of fun. Managed not to get into too much trouble and may have some business. Opportunities on account of inquiries there. We shall see, I guess. Seeing Bill dressed up like an ambassador and awkward as a schoolgirl was one of the funniest moments of my life. Met Evelyn Miller, the writer, which was amazing for Dutch. Met the mayor. 
Oh yeah, Evelyn Miller, that's the art. It didn't click last time, but that's the author that Dutch is really fond of. Dutch and Tosia seem to think this dump is a world of possibilities. They want to look into the bank and some other business opportunities. We shall see. As long as we can keep ahead of the Pinkertons and Mr. Cornwall and the rest of them for a while, maybe we shall be okay. And that's it. We're all caught up. Hey! Who's there? I've been sat here for ages, Bill. You've been stood there for ages. You're useless. <laughs> I could have everyone killed by now <laughs> if I was like an actual enemy. Ooh. Sadie Adler, we have a Sadie mission? Okay, we've got Sadie, Trelawney. Oh, yeah. Might be able to tell Evelyn Miller was lobbying for shoes. Okay, we've got that one as well. Yeah, so sorry, Dutch mentioned the gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in San Denis on behalf of Rain's Fall, the Native American chief. So I forgot, I did. I do have an inkling about that one, even though it's a question mark, stranger mission. And then Charles's, um, what's it called? Exhibition. Oh, there isn't one for the electric chair. I thought he said, like, come and have a look how it works. Maybe I don't have to. That's good. I hope I don't have to. <laughs> I had rather not. Um, but I do want to go to the fence and it is day, I always do that. It is daytime, so might take a trip up to Rhodes. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and we've got some extra missions in camp. That's good. Oh, I went the wrong way again. I always do that. I swear that turning is just invisible to me. <laughs> but I do have three gold bars to get rid of. One from the Braithwaite Manor. And two from the treasure we found last time. That was so, so cool. Hello, people. <laughs> Why does he keep doing that? <laughs> Hello. Hey, boy. <laughs> been a minute. Has been a minute, hasn't it? Right. Let's sell right. some what stuff. So much stuff. You have no idea. Oh, Jimmy Brooks. I hope I see Jimmy Brooks again. Can we sold for cash? Yes, please. Hell, you really want to get rid of this? Always makes me nervous when he says it. Plain necklace with a pretty blue gemstone. Mm. Can be used in crafting or sold. Can be sold for cash. Well, that's that. 500 each. Oh, I thought it was like 200 each. Oh my gosh. 1,500. <coughs> I still don't understand why we're bothering with the, the aristocrats. We've got so much money. And that's just me. We've got camp funds as well. We just buy a nice patch of land. Just buy like hundreds of acres in the West and, and live by ourselves. Shield with the Braithwaite crest. Oh, it's a zero. I stole that, I remember when we were looking for Jack. Maybe I should have stayed and stolen more. It was an intense mission though. We are so rich, guys! We've almost got six thousand dollars! That's probably more than I've ever had in my actual life. <laughs> and like that that's after inflation and everything. Like money had a lot more value back in those days. Um craft. Oh, you need some exclusive, huh? Okay, let's go. Legendary beaver. What does that do? Oh, that's good. Look, look at this. Increases players' dead eye experience. Brilliant. How's this? Hmm? Value of players looted money. I get more stuff. I get even more money? Yes. Can't get this anywhere else. Player's health experience. That's 
good. I can consume two times more alcohol for filling the negative effects of being drunk. Beautiful. Yes, Sounds good. Okay. So all of the blank ones we've already got. So I still need Buck, Cougar, Panzer, Pronghorn? I did get, what was it, Cat's Eye or something? Panther's Eye. And what's the Cougar one? Cougar Fang. So I think the cat one I have is different. I think so. Gosh, we're filthy rich. I'm gonna buy the Mayor's Manor House. I'm gonna throw the balls. Throw dog. Okay. I might head back to camp and do these. We've got a Lenny and a Charles. Arthur decides to help Lenny attempt to rob a banking coach. And Charles has purchased some plans for the Rhodes Bank. <gasps> you know I'm there. Which shows a structural weakness in one of the walls, Arthur, Charles, and Uncle. And Uncle's along as well. <laughs> Plan to destroy a dynamite rob safe set. Oh, come on, this, this already sounds like a party. We're going back, we're doing that bank robbery. That sounds fantastic. Think of how much more money I'll get. Hey, what? Wait up there. Oh, you're like a Lemoyne Raider guy. Gavin guy's back! Well then, you're not important anymore. You? Did you go from here to San Denis to back here? Hello. Buddy. Hello, mister. Oh. This is ridiculous, mate. You're telling me. Might be time to call it quits. You what? Have you gone mad? I love that boy. Big bloody dope that he is. No, no, I'll find him. Uh, he's, he's probably just off on a spree if I know Cap. <laughs> well, good luck. Oh, I am so worried. Gav. Gav! She's gonna stay here until he does uh, the thing. Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Well, hello. This is just too bad. Gav! Gavin! <laughs> And now I can go. <laughs> I will always stay here for that. That Gavin. <laughs> I can't believe he's just everywhere. I wonder if I went... Now I've met him, I wonder if I went to like Valentine if he'd be there as well or Strawberry or somewhere. Or if it's just Rhodes and Sandini. Oh, doing a bank robbery. Supposed to do hunting, hey, but who's there? Just me. Good to see you back. Howdy, everybody. Let uncle. See that? See that? Arthur. Here's how you get a good point. Hi, Arthur. You all right, Jack? I'm just fine. Why? No reason. <laughs> you got some guts, kid. That's for sure. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. <laughs> Don't know where he is. I'm afraid to move in case I lose. Okay. 
He's being a good dad to Jack. I hoped this would happen. Oh, so much character development. Hey, hey, Arthur. That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with him now. Anyway, I know I've ribbed you about that enough. Sounds good. I also always thought there was like some real beef between them because they didn't seem to like each other. Um, but then I noticed like during that Jack mission, like Arthur really stood by John. I think it's just the the brotherliness of acting like you hate each other's guts, but really, really they care about each other. So wholesome. Better catch up on my chores. I've been slacking. I don't miss Grimshaw telling me off. <laughs> She's scary. Ladies and gentlemen, food! The very stuff of life. Eat, give thanks, and go on with your life. Come on! It ain't William. Bill comes from Williams. That's so. Sure. So your first name comes from your surname? Ain't that odd. Guess I never put too much thought in it before. What's your real first name then? Marion. Marion. Marion? My oh my. What a nasty mama and daddy you must have had. Well, they must have hated you before they even met you. <sighs> Explains a lot. It's a family Come name, on, Come along. That don't surprise me. But I can see why you stick with Bill, Marion. I know. <sighs> don't Good. worry. You need to keep those horses to strong. Me. Marion. I make no promises. I want to tell everyone. I didn't even know. Maybe it's just a normal unisex name. It's only because my granny is called Marion. I think of it as a girl's name. But maybe it's not. Where's Karen? He's normally around here. Unless he's like eating stew or something. I need to grab some stew. Oh, Charles? Oh, I can't talk to you yet. But soon. Very soon. Delicious. Thank you, Pearson. I'm gonna get the water. Hey, Arthur. How's it going? You worried your mother half to death. I was fine. Really, I was. I ate spaghetti. What? Oh, it's get some gross water. It's. I don't know how to explain. Was it nice? Yeah, really nice. And the people? They were nice too. Everything was very, well, different. I slept in a bed in a room. Like a cage. No, no, no. More like a palace oh. in a story. How nice for you. Our little prince. <laughs> Boys got used to fine living now, Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> what could be finer than a home in a swamp surrounded by alligators? Very true. Well, little prince, tomorrow we begin reading again. I love Hosea. He's such a gentleman. Oh 
Oh, Molly. All right. Well, at least the weather's nice. I guess she was on about how far she travelled to be with Dutch. She did say in the poem that she travelled like across the ocean, I presume to be with him. And then I don't know what happened in between, but now she's here, she just seems to be like disregarded all the time. He's too busy, doesn't have time for her, thinks she's just nagging. Hello there. Hello, Mary Beth. I relate a lot to Mary Beth. I think of all the characters in camp, she's the one I'm most like. She's she loves reading, always has a head in the clouds so or in a what book. What do they eat in Germany, Strauss? I'm Austrian. Oh, hello, Arthur. Oh, so what do they eat in Australia? <laughs> it's a miracle you don't fall over more. <laughs> I'm Austrian, what do they eat in Australia? <laughs> oh bless him. We've done the bucket, we've done the firewood, Hi. done the hay. Hi Javier. Hello again, Mary Beth. We must stop meeting like this. People will talk. What is it, Arthur? Well, I've had better days. It'll be okay. Hosea. Hey! You okay? All of you turned him against me. You're driving yourself crazy. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Some party, huh? And very productive. We got some good leads out of it. I'm glad we didn't have to tolerate all those idiots for nothing. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right then. Okay, uh, I don't think there's any more chores left to do. Looks like we've got them all. Right. Let's get this party started. Hi there. Hi, Mary Beth. Hey, Charles. You busy? No. Why? Fella sold me these plans. Oh, what do you gotta ask him for, Charles? Me? He's just gonna make a big drama out of it. You know he will. Drama out of what? <laughs> Only the easiest little bank score ever got taken. Well, I don't like robbing banks now. You like complaining and whining. We never robbed that bank in Rhodes. Arthur's good. He's the best man we got. And this is easy. But he complains a lot. <sighs> what is it? Turns out there's a big weakness in the building. They replaced a window to improve security. But the bricks are real weak. So? <laughs> the vault's right behind. The fellow sold me the plans, told me all about it. It's an open secret in town. Due to be fixed any day, apparently. And we got enough explosives? I don't think so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Come on! Well, just no wine in there, Arthur Morgan. Oh, shut up. I'll make you wine. Oh, give me this. Oh, Yuki, with the impeccable timing. I took a quick break and I forgot to put my hat back on afterwards. I hope nobody would notice. Why 
never would they recognise us. What have we possibly done in robes? Let's cut through here. Whoa, damn it! Ha! Passion you. I hear you. There's the bank. Just there. I uh, see it. Yeah, this way. Let's rest here till dark. This is my kind of bank robbery. <laughs> it's time. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Wake up, beautiful. <laughs> what already? Yes, come on. No more to find them. All clear. Good work, Arthur. Follow me. Grab that spool, Arthur. Pull that wire to about 30 feet away. Sure. Thanks. This won't take long. Ready? Let's do Let's this. Stick Oh, I should probably put that on. <laughs> it's a good shout. It's not telling me I need anything. I'm, 
Am I missing something? Properly timed. Oh, this is just not how I expected this to go. Oh, it is the keys. Okay. Maybe I've got to go around this side. Can I? I'm in a bit of a pickle and I don't know what to do. It's telling me I need to go to the safes but nothing's coming up. I can't even jump to like leave and come back. I can't get over these boxes to pick up the keys. The keys are flashing but then they're not marked as on the minimap as like the what I need right now, so... I wonder if it's doing that thing like it did last time. Um, when I went to that saloon, or the hotel or whatever it was, to try and get a drink and then it like froze. That just unfroze after a while, though. Can't draw my weapon. Don't have a lasso. Can I take a photo? <laughs> I might need to reload. I'll oh, try reloading. Oh dear. I have no idea where I'm reloading to. I'm really bad at forgetting to save the game. And I haven't saved it for a few playthroughs. It's auto-saved, but I don't know where to. Okay, I'm in camp. Why is that locked? Oh, and hunting with Pearson. Hunting with the tiger. So I think it must have saved, auto saved just before I did the mission. Hey. Hello. Okay. Do over. Let's try again. Arthur. Real shame about them calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fight. That's why they float. <laughs> oh, that's so. Sure. I won't speed up twenty. Okay. <laughs> but uh I'm gonna miss Mac. He was a good man. The kind of fellow you like to rob alongside? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Heartless son of a bitch. But he had a heart. How are you? That makes any sense. <laughs> I know what you mean. Glad to hear it. R.I.P. Mac. Ugh. Hmm. And Sean. 
You joining us? All right. You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. <laughs> Okay, back we go. Round two. Charles? You busy? No. What? Fella sold me these plans. Oh, what do you gotta ask him for, Charles? Me? He's just gonna make a big drama out of it. You know he will. Drama out of what? <laughs> Only the easiest little bank score ever got taken. Well, I don't like robbing banks now. You like complaining and whining. We never robbed that bank in Rhodes. Arthur's good. He's the best man we got. And this is easy. But he complains a lot. <sighs> what is it? Turns out there's a big weakness in the building. They replaced a window to improve security. But the bricks are real weak. So? <laughs> the vault's right behind. The fellow sold me the plans, told me all about it. It's an open secret in town. Due to be fixed any day, apparently. And we got enough explosives? I don't think so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Come on! Just no wine in there, Arthur Morgan. Oh, shut up. I'll make you wine. Oh, give me this. What was up with Charles's shirt? It's like jelly. Push the stick, Arthur. Okay, here we go again. Fingers crossed it works this time. Let's go. Missing something. Oh no, I was so excited as well. I want to rob a bank. Wow, that is a terrible wallpaper job. Look how crumpled that is. Um. Yeah, what is going on, right? Well, I could kill Charles. Anything will let me. Should I try it? It might jog it. I won't shoot him. Does that work? No, it doesn't let me. That's well that I can do that, though. I'm very nervous. Because it almost lets me draw my gun when I look at Charles. Why isn't it working? Okay, so, funny story. No, really, really depressing story. <laughs> um, so, I got stuck on that bank mission. And so I tried to phone a friend to see somebody who's done this mission before has, you know, played all of Red Dead to find out if it was something I was just missing. Um, or if it was actually glitched, because I didn't want to spend loads more time trying to get it to work if it had just glitched. Um, or give up on it when there was actually a way forward. Um, and yeah, I ended up just having a really long conversation about other stuff as well. So I turned off recording, so I was recording the whole time. Um, so rather than recording an hour's worth of me just jibber jabbering on the phone, I decided to stop recording and then I'd start recording again once I got back into the game. And I forgot to hit record, so I played another four hours of this game. Um, then, you know, did loads of stuff, I did loads of hunting, I did loads of main missions. Um, I caught my very first horse, um, wild horse, and then I went to sign off and 
that went well and then I went to hit stop recording and then realised I hadn't been recording at all the entire time. <laughs> so um, the trouble is I'd already done loads of stuff so I don't want you guys to miss out on what I did. Um, but at the same time I don't want to lose, I don't want to redo all of the hunting and stuff that I did. Um, but I don't want to lose the progress either. So um, I'm going to reload a previous save. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do that bank mission again. Um, this is actually now the following day. <laughs> I found out yesterday and just went to bed and today is the next day. So now that my PC has been turned off um, and I've been given a couple of tips for how maybe to jog that mission into working again, I'm going to try that and see if I can do the mission. Um, and yeah, then I'm going to play through the missions that I did yesterday that I didn't record. And then I'm going to reload that yes, first. If they only knew how boring it really is. Then I'm going to reload that first main save where I'd done all the hunting as if I had recorded yesterday. And I'm just going to carry on from there. But then you'll see what I did. It won't be my very first reactions, unfortunately. I did like, I explored like the whole northern mountain range from right to left. Um, actually, sorry, it'll be the other way for you. From left to right. Um, I went to um, Sadie's old house, um, I went to Coulter again, I, I literally went did everything, I found a couple of old shacks, it was so cool, and I missed all of it because I didn't record it. Um, yeah, so I'll just show you the main missions at least, and that's kind of a rough idea of what I've, I, I got. Um, I got a legendary bear, a legendary Tatanka bison, um, I got... I did get two three-star elk pelts and one three-star bison, um, but I ended up with like a whole herd of horses <laughs> with me because I, I had Bard, um, I found a stranger mission and the guy died so I took his horse and then I caught that other horse so I ended up with three horses and um, so I put one of each skin on the back of each horse. I don't think the game liked that I had so many horses. It like It's fine with you having your main horse and a secondary horse, maybe not a third. So one of the elk skins unfortunately I lost. Um, it just seemed to go into the void and didn't count so I do need to get another elk skin. Um, I've updated my list because I was trying to do it for the trinkets and for the um, satchel upgrades. I only need one elk, one panther, one raccoon, one cougar and one wolf for the three star pelts for the satchel. For the trinkets and talismans I need a legendary buck, cougar, panther, pronghorn, ram, alligator and normal bison now. So I've done a good chunk of them. I've done over half of what I need to do. So made good progress in that yesterday even though unfortunately you'll never see it. Um, so yeah I'm gonna get started on some of these missions um, and just replay through them so you can kind of catch up to what I did and sorry about the disjointedness. It's it's so sad when that happens or like if you die and you realize you haven't saved for ages it's that feeling of like <laughs> anyway let's go Miss Grimshaw? Miss Grimshaw? yes what is it have you seen karen oh, the o'driscoll boy no i haven't firstly he isn't an o'driscoll and secondly i'm worried well i'm sure he'll turn up his sort normally do. Okay. Thank you. I know you think I'm concerned too. What does she mean? I knew I hadn't seen him for a while. I thought it just glitched out or I just Come here, Arthur. Him. Everything okay? Arthur, have you seen Kieran around anywhere? No, where is he? Oh, come to think of it. No, not for a while. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good. When did I last see him? I saw him when we, the night we got Jack back. Have I seen him since then? I don't think so. I might have done, but I didn't really like talk to him, I don't think. I think I'd remember if I talked to him. Oh, for the fun that Mary Beth. I want it to be she's just mistaken, but I don't know why they would point it out, like Mary, look, Mary Beth looking for him. I'm going through so many possibilities in my head. Maybe he's just gone fishing. He likes fishing. 
He did say that he was always scared to leave camp in case he got snatched up by the O'Driscolls. Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. How are you, Mary Beth? Good. How is the big party at the mayor's house? Oh, not really my thing, but we got Have some things. good information out of it. Yeah, good. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, then. Yeah, maybe you just went fishing then. We're in a new spot. There could be more fish. I'm probably jumping to conclusions and worrying unnecessarily. I do that. So, for now... Oh, but then why is Mary Beth so worried? If he was just fishing, I don't know if they would have made such a big deal out of it. I know I'm stress chewing. Ugh, okay, I'm not going to think about it right now. Arthur. Hello, Charles. Charles? You busy? No. Why? Fella sold me these plans. You guys. Hopefully it works this time. Yes! Yes, it works. Uh, safe look damaged. I reckon we should be able to pry them open. Let's see what we got in here. Check those other bolts. Yes, hurry up. We ain't got them. How'd we do? We did okay, I think. Here, 
And thank you, boys. That was fun. Now, don't forget to give the camp a chair, Uncle. Oh, as if I would. As if. Now, split up, both of you. Let's get moving. Yay, we did it. Look who's back. Thank you, boy. A bunch of moaners. Things ain't that bad. Things is fine. Fine. Almost dandy. Unlike most of you whiners, I've been in some real tight spots. Okay. And this ain't even a goddamn spot, let alone a tight one. I felt rope around my neck more than once. Don't scare me. This don't scare me neither, not one little bit. Way I see it, way I see it, these things prove what you made of, prove what you is. And right now, too many of yous is proving precisely what you is, and it's like something I went and stepped in. No offense, mind. At least not to them that's gonna quit moaning. Hey there, Arthur. Hey, Lenny. Howdy, fellas. Hey. Hey. That ambition will see you far. Thanks, Arthur. Just keep a calm head on your shoulders. All right, Arthur. You think you'll ever go back to Mexico? For now, I can't. You think we're wanted here? I'll be shot on sight if I go back there. Maybe one day. Okay, so I really, really hate this, but a coach robbery with Micah has shown up, and I'm not speaking to him yet, but also I don't want to miss out on the mission because I want to do as many missions and stuff as I can, so I'm going to do it, but I don't like this to Micah. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight! No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? My favorite Coach combination. Stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill. This is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Not something you Very have. true. Yeah, you're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. 
Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellas. For a year, was it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. No, I got no doubts about John. I've known him 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. Oh, uh, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. You literally make me feel so sick. I hate that guy. And he's so nice a duck, so he's capable of being decent. He just chooses not to. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Okay, so I didn't do the Trelawney mission yet. I did do this one, so I'm going to go and do that one again. I, oh my gosh. I did do the mission with Charles and this one as well. Oh, I don't really want to do that mission again. 
Okay, I'll go and do all of them. All of the ones I did, so you can see. Gosh. Somebody, please help me! Oh, hey, you! Please! You gotta help me! Snake bite? Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but... They got my wife! Please, mister! You gotta do something! All Close. right, where is she? It's a sacked out in the swamp by the water. I'll okay. get her back, sir. Go on, see if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh, uh, I go about finding more help. Uh. What man? Help. I'm on it, mister. I'll get her back. Just you wait. They won't know what hit them. Sorry I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the Lord you showed up when you did! <sighs> you saved my honor! Christ! What a mess! Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want them rotten indoors. Beth. <clears throat> Feed him to the alligators. Get him over here so you don't have to look at them. <coughs> Alright, all done. in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. <laughs> yeah, you keep going. I'm just glad I could do a good deed. Go to see Charles first. There we go. Gallery. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free. What's this show then? Oh, Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. Uh, you should know the artworks are not endorsed by gallery staff. Sooner you go in there, sooner you can come out. <laughs> it's really selling it. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. 
behind you, ma'am. I'm not sure what that is. We we'll missed the party. Is that a man standing in like a library? This one was a magpie eating cheese. Hurry up, will you? Very nice. <gasps> Premium cigarettes. I missed that. Damn it. Maybe I can come back when I reload the main save. Oh, this is my favourite bit. So, you guys, do you recognise these photos? I think that it's Greek. Or, could be Roman. And you know, my personal favourite, best of all. He's that handsome fella. It Famous. might just be from someone over in Blackwater. <laughs> and just these old people. And some statues that could be Greek or Roman or something. And then the main man himself. Notice the theme. That's far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. I find the brushwork baffling. What's he trying to represent aside from a filthy mess? It's a, you know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, let's just say, I can't say, not in mixed company. <laughs> hey, Charles. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame. I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her... Delicate! <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you! That's it! <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, Henry! Son of a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh! <laughs> Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right. Oh, we go. What I do to upset you? Of those hot and hot. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Let's go. This way, this way. Come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring. That it was not. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You 
keep provoking emotions like that, all your canvases will have punch holes through them. I told you I was a hornass! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else. Like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I feel so bad for the person who literally saw their mother in one of those paintings. Like, how rough is that? <laughs> oh, Charles. Oh no, there's a dead horse. How did you die? Who did this? This horse is so dead. In the cities. <laughs> he is such a character. <laughs> He's a lot of work, but he's worth it. Even partner. Oh, this one. Look out! Where are we Stay calm! <laughs> Breathe deep and repent! For you will be moved to a better realm! Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this friend's existence! <laughs> So humane! His life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful! Kill him already! <laughs> Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. It's like people clapping at that point. Help, help. Someone help. Even the mystery. Someone help! I think I got bad on of this this time, last time, but I did loot him and I got the blueprint, so... I know it's not gonna work because I live in the modern day and I know it exists, but I felt like maybe it would stop it being built again. God, I helped do that. That doesn't feel good. I've now witnessed in this game a hanging and electric chair execution and I know which one looked more humane. And it wasn't the chair. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I can't believe I had to do that twice. I was so glad to get rid of it the first time. Oh, I met this person. I forgot about that. Algernon Wasp, Surveyor of the Exquisite. Lovely flowers and plants. 
One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Tacitus. I cannot even imagine Arthur in a corset. He does not strike me as a corset kind of guy. <laughs> Brilliant. That man is very eloquent. He's very, like, pleasing to listen to. <laughs> okay. So I did that. Oh, that's fine. That's just because I've opened a letter, but I won't read it out. I'll leave that for the main one, because in the main save, I've not yet picked up the letter, so I'll do all then. So just ignore that for now. Um, I'm going to go and do that strange mission. I didn't do the Trelawney one. I didn't do Sadie's mission. I headed up that way, but it wasn't the um, visiting that guy wasn't there. So I think it's just this one and then the part two of this mission and then we are up to date. Thank you for bearing with me through this redo. I still can't believe I did that. Out of the way! Stop being rude, Arthur. Where are your manners? Can anybody show me some kindness? Of course. Please. You. Yes. Please. Coin. Please. Please. Look, won't you lend a coin? Go get yourself family? some need. Hey, miss my old horse. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Mm -hmm. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. The thing is, I think you could have sold it for, for so money, much more. Like a goddamn worm. Now that's Bottling good stuff. In the dirt. Uh, uh. What are you doing? Hello? Excuse me. Hello, folks. Hey, do I know you, Mister? Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, we saw you in the wagon train. 
crossing the river at Cumberland Falls, and at the party you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. That's so cool. So up for helping them. Right, just say in two days. But I might... Oh, that was the other mission I did as well. I know what I'll do in the meantime. Because there was there were, was a couple of other. Okay, I'm going to fast travel to Butcher Creek, I think it was. And I hope it's still there. It's not a random event or something. Struggling, buddy. Um, okay, so I checked out this place, which is really cool, and I think they're hillbillies who live there. I think that's what we'd, would be described as hillbillies. Um, yeah, they didn't seem very happy to see me. Some of them were okay. Some of them were like, we don't take kindly to outsiders. Um, and yeah, didn't like me there. I did check out Ansberg. I went there, and I went to Van Horn, which I think is here-ish. That's where I want to be going, so we're heading to Van Horn. Yeah. Easy now. Visibility is not great right now. Okay, so this is Van Horn. Very unique old town. is here good I just came along because um, I didn't know where Butcher's Creek was and it was the only fast travel location I didn't know um, so I traveled there and ended up where I started just now here um, so I went and checked out this little settlement settlement 
um, and th- there wasn't much there, just a few people um, living their best life. Um, then I realised I was near Ansberg and I wanted to clear up this part of the map, so I went to Ansberg. I didn't really do anything there, I just went there. I don't really like it there because it's very industrial, they've cut down loads of trees, it's not very... It doesn't. It's not my kind of vibe. Um, and then this bit was all shrouded still, and I saw this like circle on the map. Um, so I got really curious. So I wanted to ride down to see what that was, and then I came across Van Horn. Um, there I came across this mission, so I initiated that. Um, and then after that, I went up to the mountains from here. And that was where I got a, like the legendary. I think I got the legendary bear. Um, and then I was looking for elk and wolves to try and get um, some three-star pelts. Um, I ended up traveling. Oh, actually, now I think about it. Oh my goodness, does this not look like a, a deer or something? Like there's its nose and there's its antlers and there's its body. Never noticed that before. Um, anyway, so yeah, I was traveling across and I just decided to mix it with exploring. So rather than just running around trying to find um, elk or trying to get attacked by wolves, um, I just thought I'll just go exploring and I'm bound to come across wolves and elk uh, on my travels. Um, so I ended up doing from uh, about over here, literally going across the whole top of the mountain range. And then I went and did all these little... Um, in dents and then I came all the way down and I checked out this bit over here um, and then I headed across to Valentine to get the bison and then I headed back down. Ah, that one's ready now. So I'll do this one and then I'll go over to Eagle Flies. Um, yeah, so that was basically what happened last time. So I'm going to initiate this one and we can see what happens. Hello lovely folk. No! Bertram say no! Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. i fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose right into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Wouldn't Bertram like a sherry? Bertram, like Sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep, Sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he... <coughs> no, Bertram, 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 woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down! Do something! You only eat him! Um, uh, e- e- easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Uh, Bertram! Mean man! Ouchie! Uh. Uh, 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 uh,
Doctor. You look like a real... Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. That's just as good playing it the second time. Damn it. Mark, whose shoes are these? I absolutely love Bertram's little ponytail with the ribbon. I'm not sure what I make of Miss Marjorie. I don't really like her. She seems very manipulative. I love Bertram. I wouldn't say he's a gentle giant, <laughs> but he's he's sweet in his own way. Um, okay, eagle flies. Oh, I could probably actually just fast travel again. I think I can go to uh, Cornwall's place. Easy, easy. Far away enough. This mission was fun. I'm quite excited I get to do this again. Nice fire. Mind if I warm my bones? Um. <laughs> Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we don't protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on, let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. <laughs> that never happened before. Oh, that's freaky. Okay, uh, fast travel. I'm very surprised it didn't end up in a gunfight though. I was ready for it. It looked a lot like those people in that town by Butcher's Creek. I wonder if they're connected. You know the people I said I think were hillbillies. Or based off of them. I don't really know because we don't have them here, but from the descriptions I've heard. Okay. Let's go to see Eagle Flies. I'm very poetic, mate. Hello.
You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. That's sad. early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Yourself, friend, this won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... <laughs> Danbury. Think, man. I 
mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice <laughs> floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Silent. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Very cool. Hey, boy. Okay, and the last place I need to go to is Valentine. See if we can do that mission. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool helping them. Okay. Right, it's these guys. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. 
Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen. Just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Good shot, sir. I think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please! What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, these boys are so silly. Ready? Aim. <laughs> Nothing to fear. Now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have. Why? I must be the bravest man I know. Excellent! Whew. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. You are too much. No, nope, my sweet. Me and the lizard man. <laughs> okay, that was all the missions that I did. As far as I can remember, that was everything. Um, I did those. Um... I did a whole lot of hunting. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much it. I, I, yeah, I did those missions. I did all but that one. Then I did loads of hunting. And then on my way back through Valentine to get the bison, then I did that one. And then I went back to camp. Then I signed off. And then I realized I hadn't recorded anything. So I'm going to head back to camp now, I think. I complain. Good to hear. What's up? There you are, my love. Time to go, boy. Hey, partner. Okay, fast travel to... Is camp an option? Oh, Shady Bell's an option, so, yeah. Okay, so I have no idea how long or short this episode is going to be because it's been so disjointed with what I did yesterday, what I've tried to do today, re-showing episodes, not having captured all that hunting. I really can't piece together how long it's going to be. I hope it's been a good full episode. I know that the second part of it isn't going to be my initial reactions. I'm really sorry for that. Um, but yeah, there's obviously no way I could un-experience um, what I played yesterday. But now, as of now, we are all caught up. So, next episode, I will reload my old save. Not this one, but the one that I finished on last time without having recorded it. Um, you'll notice I now have a white Arabian horse as well. 
as Bard because I uh, tamed it. Um, I've got some satchel upgrades, I've still got a few to go. And I have some more trinkets and talismans. Um, actually, no, I think you... No, I recorded when I went to the fence. And although I got some legendary animals, I didn't go back since. So you'll actually know about my... Where, I, where you saw me get to with the trinkets and talismans is where I'm at. Um, it's only the satchel upgrades that I think I did. So, yeah, as of next time, we're back on track. Um, and I'm really sorry that I, I forgot to record um, classic Jodo. Um, so, um, yeah, we've in ingratiated ourselves, is that the word, with um, the Wapiti tribe. Um, with Chief Rain's Fall and Rain Falls um, and Eagle Flies. Uh, they're really cool. I've really, I've always had a bit of a soft spot for Native Americans. Um, but I just, from what I've experienced so far in the game, they're just such a peaceful people, um, or at least the ones that I've met, compared to all the other people I've, I've met just around the land. Um, you know, they don't get aggressive. Um, I know Eagle Fly seems to have a bit of a, a fire in him, um, but his father seems very peaceful, very calm, always trying to try every peaceful solution um, rather than resorting to violence or aggression. So I'd love to help him if I can. Um, and it helps as well that it's going to annoy Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> like, I'm always up for annoying him. So yeah, that was really fun amazing fun sneaking in doing like a stealth mission which I always I'm not very good at them but I love doing them um and then blowing up Cornwall's place that was fun even though that wasn't me but it was cool to witness um we got to meet Miss Marjorie and Bertrand um is it Bertrand yeah Bertrand not Bertram. we've not met Magnifico yet but the, that is the next part of the quest to go and see Magnifico I don't know if I want to turn him in um, because he may be running away for a legitimate cause. She seems a bit manipulative and overbearing. So maybe he just wants to get away and be his own person. Fair enough. Um, but I don't think there's any harm in going and seeing him. And just seeing um, yeah, if what, what he's run away for, what it's all about. We don't have to tell on him or um, tell her where he is. So we'll do that at some point. We've still got to go and see the guy in the tower. Um, because we've done a lot of his quests, but we didn't do that one. I think we've, well, I'm pretty certain, considering he died, we finished the electric chair missions. That was horrible. Didn't like, like that at all. I know I'm not supposed to. Um, but yeah, I was at least hoping it just wouldn't work and that would be the end of the missions, but no, it, it worked in the worst way. Just slowly and painfully. We also met those two brothers. I don't know if we'll see them again, but it was kind of fun. It's actually that last round of shooting was pretty tricky, um, shooting a moving target. So yeah, it was fun though. Um, what else did we do? <gasps> so we went to Charles's um, gallery. Um, oh, I'm, I'm loving it. Every time I meet Charles, he just becomes more and more of a character. Um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to the next time I meet him. Every time it's a headache, but also such a good laugh. And we also met, oh, I've forgotten his name. The eloquent one in the, um, oh. oh, I can see the sign in my head and I've forgotten what it's called. I've forgotten it, but I remember I pronounced the G wrong. Anyway, the really eloquent man who always wears a corset apparently in the greenhousey shop of exquisite items. Um, we met him and yeah, that was a funny, funny interaction. Um, so we've got some commission jobs to do to pick up some supplies for his commissions. Um, we didn't do Sadie's or Trelawney's mission. I did do a whole lot of hunting that you didn't see um, and I managed to catch a horse, so that's pretty cool. Nothing particularly interesting happened in the mountains other than catching the um, legendary items and the three star pelts. There was no massive um, scene or anything like that. So that's good. You didn't miss anything like that, which is quite handy. Oh my goodness, though. What were those guys about who, who just 
strolled into my camp. I don't know what that's about and I'm, I don't feel comfortable about that at all. I have a feeling they are like the gang of that area. Um, because we have, we have in New Hanover, or the Heartlands, sorry, in the Heartlands, we have the O'Driscolls. In Le Moyne, we have the Le Moyne Raiders. And I'm wondering if up here, I've forgotten what that's called, that ridge. But here maybe, this is like the gang of that area. Because yeah, last time I did bump into a couple and I was like, who are they? Who are these people? Um, there was that village that I found. They, they weren't aggressive. They weren't particularly friendly, but they were just like, go away. <laughs> they were just verbally, didn't seem very friendly, but they didn't attack me or anything. Um, and But they did seem very much like those people who walked into camp. And then obviously I was up near Van Horn when they strolled in. So I think they are the gang of that area. So we've got Adriscoll's Lemoyne Raiders and I've forgotten their names, but those people. Which is quite interesting. I wonder if... See, I never got bothered by anybody in the Grizzlies, but then I suppose people don't really like to hang out in the Grizzlies. I've not yet run into anyone in West Elizabeth, but I've not spent a huge amount of time in West Elizabeth. So I don't know if there's going to be more gangs in other areas. And maybe like each section of the map has its own dominating gang. Interesting. But yeah, maybe feel very on edge. I was like, oh, are we going to shoot each other or it's weird that they kind of strolled in just gave us a warning left peacefully but yeah it was a very unnerving experience but pretty cool and um i am very concerned about kieran and i don't know if it's i don't know if it's a rational amount of concern or just me worrying about the worst case scenario again um, I did see him, I know I saw him the night that Jack, we got Jack back with us because I talked to him quite a bit. I remember he was drunk. Well, first he was standing back, then he was drunk and we were talking and he was like, did you ever think that like, you know, you could have, like, if you, you didn't capture me, like we could have, you could have killed me um, at Six Point Cabin or Arthur said, oh, we both would have died at Six Point Cabin. And then he went to sleep by the doors and he was snoring and it was adorable um and I can't remember if I've seen him since it doesn't help that everything's so jumbled around um with this this last playthrough but I don't think I've seen him around but I remember last was it last episode or was it yesterday um I was doing chores and I took some hay over to the horses and I remember noticing that I hadn't seen Kieran for a while and normally I would see him around there. Because he's, he's, well, he's now officially my favourite. He was one of, it was so close to being a joint favourite with Sean. But Sean's Irish charm just gave him that edge. Um, so he was like almost my favourite character. And since Sean died, he is my favourite character. So I always like look out for him because he's one of the people where I'm like, oh, it's Kieran. And I just noticed I hadn't seen him for a while. And I didn't see him in the area of the camp I normally see him or by the... Um, I didn't see him at the scouts campfire either right after, which is the other place I've seen him. Um, and I didn't think too much about it. I, I like noted it, but I also thought... Maybe he's just, either he's around camp and I've just not seen him, he could be getting food or something. Um, or maybe like that time I was looking for Abigail and Jack, um, the next day after we brought Jack back with us and I couldn't find them anywhere, like maybe it's just, either I'm missing him or he could have just glitched and not be around. Um, so yeah, I didn't really think much of it until... Mary Beth has been walking around seeming really agitated that she can't find him and no one's seen him. And even if he had left camp, I would think maybe he'd just gone fishing or something because I know he likes to, he was, he never left fishing by himself because he always felt threatened by the Driscolls when we were in um, Clemens Point. But then we were a lot closer to the Heartlands and the Driscolls, like, we are so far from the Driscolls now. And they're all the way up here. So, 
maybe he I, I would think maybe he just got braver like now we're far away and he left um to go fishing or something but the fact that mary seemed so worried mary beth sorry seemed so worried i don't know it just gives me a bad feeling and i hope it, he's fine and it's nothing and i'm reading way too into this um but yeah i'm a bit worried it might end up being like something's happened to him we've got to rescue him or um i don't know go looking for him or something uh it didn't give me like a quest prompt or anything like that so i don't know how i would go looking for him right now i don't think i can i just guess i'll have to wait and see what happens if he shows up i'll keep an eye out for him in camp and i'll see if he just reappears but yeah oh i hope he's okay i've always had such a soft spot for him like i've been extremely protective over him since we got him um even with like i don't know people being mean to him in camp you've you've been there alongside the journey you've seen how protective i get over him and i've always got really anxious about what especially when we were in um horseshoe overlook um i was always very anxious about the adriscals knowing he was there and coming to get him so i just hope he's okay um but yeah fingers crossed i'm sure it's fine i'm sure it's okay and i'm just just overthinking it so yeah i think i'll be fine so next time we've still got the trelawney and the sadie mission i'm so excited to do the sadie mission um so we've got this one. Oh, that's the magnifico one. Oh, he's a little person bertram said that magnifico is camping somewhere in the woods so oh yeah it's not too far away i don't know how they'd hear us if we made a racket from van horn though that's gonna have to be quite a racket um i'm just trying to look at the picture it looks like he's running away and i don't know if that's me and there's loads of smoke oh but he is a magician so maybe he like disappears in a puff of smoke or something like that um trelawney's one is trelawney has been investigating the riverboat and wants you to meet him at the tailors so we'll see what that's about next time and um, and sadie adler horsemen apocalypses sadie needs to speak to you and i can't tell who she's doing it to but it looks like she's being very aggressive i can't tell her hands tied together i don't know anyway she looks like she's on the attack i would say he looks like he's on the defensive but really it looks like he's just getting his ass kicked by sadie so i'm very much looking forward to that mission um yeah we'll see i guess i'm so excited to do a mission with sadie again she's so badass now um and i think that's everything I still have um I still have the elk, panther, raccoon, cougar and wolf three star pelts to get. And of the legendary ones I've still got buck, cougar, panther, pronghorn, ram, alligator and bison. So lots to do. Lots to do. We're not running out of stuff anytime soon. Um there is also this Lenny mission in camp which I hope will stay. It says Arthur decides to help Lenny attempt to rob a banking coach. Very disjointed episode, but we got there in the end. Thank you for bearing with me. And I'll always try to remember to record next time and all the episodes in future. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, have a wonderful week, Outlaws, and I will see you next Sunday. Take care of yourselves until then, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.